Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about the governing equation of fins. For uh, deriving the governing equation of fins, let us consider a straight rectangular fin fin, straight rectangular fin fin which is projected from a base, that is from a wall, from a wall as shown in the figure. Let us consider L be the length of the fin, T be the thickness, AC be the cross-sectional area and P be the perimeter of the fin, perimeter of the fin. Then let us consider T naught be the temperature of the base and T infinite be the temperature of the surrounding into which the fin is projected. As heat conducted from a base, that is from the wall, towards the tip of the fin, the temperature is goes on decreasing as we as we go from the base to towards the tip of the fin. For deriving the general equation for fins, consider an elemental area of length dx of length dx which is x from the base this is the dx this is the elemental area which is which is having a dx length for this elemental area let us assume that qx be the amount of heat which is entering into the elemental area and qx plus dx is the amount of heat which is leaving the elemental area by means of a conduction and let us say dq convected is the amount of heat which is convected to the surrounding atmosphere. These are the three important heat transfers in this elemental area. Then the amount of heat which is entered into the elemental area by means of a conduction that is qx is given by the Fourier law of heat conduction which is nothing but that qx is equal to minus k into ac into dt by dx where k is the thermal conductivity of the material ac is the cross sectional area of the fin and dt by dx is the temperature gradient this is the amount of heat which is entering into the elemental area now consider the heat that is amount of heat which is leaving the elemental area is given by the that is qx dx that is amount of heat which is leaving the elemental area is equal to the amount sum of the amount of heat which is entering the elemental area plus the unit increase of heat in x direction into the distance traveled that is in this case it is dx this is the amount of heat which is leaving the elemental area by means of a by means of a conduction next coming to the amount of heat which is converted to the surrounding atmosphere that is given by h into a convected that is convect area which is exposed in this case the uh, elemental area that is given by that is convected elemental area is given by perimeter of f in into length of the element length of the element is nothing but a dx and perimeter of a fin is nothing but a p that will be the area convected we are considering a very small strip on the fin as i said earlier that is h into a convected into t minus t infinite where t is the temperature of the elemental area and t infinite be the temperature of the surrounding atmosphere then this is the Q convected. These are the important thing. Then going back to the previous slide. For this elemental area, under the steady state condition, writing a energy balance, that is amount of heat which is entering and amount of heat which is leaving, we can write in this fashion, that is amount of heat which is entering into the elemental area is given by Qx is equal to sum of Qx plus dx plus Q convected. 
that is this is the only energy which is entering and these are the two heat transfers that is one is by means of a conduction another one is by means of a convection it is going that is qx is equal to qx plus dx plus q convected that is given by this energy balance that is heat conducted into the element is equal to heat conducted out of the element plus heat convected from the element to the fluid that is we have represented mathematically we can write like this already we have written the equations for qx qx plus dx and q converted substituting all these equations in this we will get this equation here qx qx get cancels and uh, dx dx get cancelled because those are the common here in this equation they are, those are common then substituting qx as minus ka dt into dx this equation in this equation and and dividing the both sides of this equation by using minus ka we will get finally we are going to get this entire term because this minus ka is constant this will come out and uh, as we are dividing it by minus ka minus ka minus ka get cancels here you are with finally d square t divided by dx square minus here is the hp is there hp divided by minus ka will become minus hp divided by kac into t minus t infinite is equal to zero this is the equation this is the simplification what we are going to get after doing the substitution and cancellation then we will introduce a new term called theta theta is nothing but the temperature difference between the element and the surrounding that is t minus t infinite is equal to theta this is the new term i am introducing and for this equation differentiating both sides with respect to x if we do it dt by dx is equal to d theta by dx because here t infinite we are treating it as a constant differentiation of constant is equal to zero this will become zero this term will become zero hence dt by dx is equal to dt by dx sorry d theta by dx and again we differentiate this equation we are going to get d square t divided by dx square is equal to d square theta divided by dx square and putting hp divided by kac is equal to m square then if we put d square t dx square is equal to dx square theta divided by dx square if we put all these things into this equation this will reduce to this form that is d square theta divided by dx square minus m square into theta is equal to zero this is the general equation of the fins this is the general equation for the fins which represents the second order differential equation and for this this is the solution for the second order differential equation this is all about the general expression for the fins in the coming session we are going to have the expression for very long fin convective tip fin and insulating tip fin thank you for listening press like button to subscribe thank you thank you one and all